So now we're finally going to look at a way that we can compare two objects and actually compare the data inside them to check if they're logically the same or not. This is not the same as the objects being exactly the same, it just means that they have the same data. This can be achieved through the assert deep equal and assert not deep equal methods. So we have these two objects here. So our expected object, the name needs to be Gary, age needs to be 35, the favorite foods array needs to have um, fried chicken and chicken wings. And then we have our actual where the name is Hannah, there's no age key, and the favorite foods array is in the uh, wrong order. <clears throat> and then on the try.assert, we've called the deep equal method. We've given it the first argument of the um, actual one. Then we've given it the second argument of the expected. And finally, we have an error message. And I'll say something like um, objects are not deeply equal. And this is how I think this method works. I'm not sure if this is how it actually works, but this is how I think it works. So it'll check if the number of keys in the object are the same. It'll check that um, all the keys that, ex uh, that unexpected exist in the actual. Then it will compare the values for the same key in both objects. And if it's an object, it'll run the deep equals on those objects, and this becomes recursive. Um, if it's an array, it checks that the values in each index of the array are the same, so the order matters. If it's of the same type, um, but it's not an object or an array, it'll use the equals equals. So if it's like comparing two strings or two numbers, it will use the um, triple equals to do that. And then if the um, values in the same key on different objects and the two objects are different types, then it fails. So I've run the deep equal method here, and I've given it these uh, the actual one, which is this Hannah here, and expected, and I've got an error message of objects are not deeply equal. And if I run this test, you can see that it fails. And the reason it's failed here is when it went on to step one, it, where it checks the number of keys are the same. There are one, two, three keys in the expected, but there's only two keys in the actual, so that failed. So Let's let's add the age key into here. So we'll put um, age 35 here. So that should balance out the number of keys. So if we run this again, it still fails. And so now this is passed. And now we'll look that look at the fact that all the keys that expect that are unexpected exist in actual. And that's true as well because we have name here, we have age here, and we have favorite foods. The next thing it does is it compares the values of the same key in both objects. So it, it compares um, the values in the name key of both objects. And then these two are strings, not objects, so this is okay. They're not arrays, so this is okay. They're the same type, which is string. but So they've used triple equals to compare these two strings. And these two strings are different because one says Gary and this one says Hannah. So these two strings are different, so it will fail. So let's change this now to Gary, and I'll run this again, and it still fails. Okay, so what happened here was, once again, we have the same number of keys, we have all the name, age, and favorite foods key in both objects, and then we'll compare them. So we have, we've compared the names, and the names are of the same type, and equals, equals, equals will return true here. The ages are of the same type, which is numbers, and equals, 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 with 35 and 35 will return true. Um, in the third key right here, the values are an array, and so it'll check that the values in each index uh, is the same. So it will check in the, it, at that at index 0 in the expected, it has fried chicken, but at index 0 in um, the actual, it has chicken wings. So this fails because these the values in the same indexes of both objects are not the same. So, okay, so what we can do here is if I move this fried chicken, so if I swap the um, indexes around here, and I paste that into here, and then save that, and we run the test now, we can see that there's no errors thrown and all the tests have passed. So what it's done is, the number of keys are the same now. All the keys to so the name, age, favorite food, name, age, and favorite food are in both um, 
objects, then let's compare the values. So for the first one, the name, it's of the same type and equals 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 passed as true. The second one is of the same type and equals 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 passed true. The third one is an array and the value in both indexes, so the value in index 0 is fried chicken on both, the value in index 1 is chicken wings on both and that's passed. So there's no reason why this has failed here, that's why this these tests have passed. Now the opposite of this method is the is not equal is not deep equal method, and um, as you can expect, it does the exact opposite. So we can say something like if the not deep equal method fails, this means the objects are deeply equal. So if we um, run this again, we can see that it fails because these objects are considered deeply equal. Now I'm going to show you another thing here. So if I move this age key and I put it here and save that and I run this again this test still fails and that means that it was calculated that these two objects were equal that's because at no point in this algorithm does it actually check that the order of the keys are the same all it checks is if the number of keys are the same it checks that the same keys exist and then it compares the values of the keys it doesn't check that the keys are presented in the right order so that's not important here so let's have a look at the challenger now and again it's in unit test.js and we have um, chai and assert already um, declared there for us so now we're down here and again our goal is to make sure that these tests pass and once again we have um, an actual input and an expected input and then we have to either give them to deep equal or not equal to make sure the tests pass. So the, for the first one we have for the expected we have an object with a key of b and a value of 5 and a, and a key of a and a value with a string with 1 inside it and here we have um, uh, an object with a key of a and a um, value of a string with one inside it and a key of b and a value with five so they have the same number of keys they have um, the same key so they both have an a key and a b key um, and the values so the values in the a key are the string one and they're of the same type and if we run equals 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 on it we can see that they will match and on B, the values are of the same type, they're both numbers, and if we run equals, equals, equals with these two fives, we know that that will be true. So these objects are deeply equal. So if we give them to the deep equal test, we know they'll pass. Um, so the next one we're looking at is we once again have two objects, and both objects have just a key with A, and they have an array with five and six, but they're in in the different way around. So we look at the number of keys, so the number of keys is just one key which is A, um, and the keys are the same, so, so they have the same keys, so they both have A keys, and um, the values in the in the A key when we're comparing them, they're arrays, so that means that we have to make sure that the same values exist at the same indexes in both objects. So if we look at index 0 of both of them, we can see that the index 0 of this one is 6 and the index 0 of this one is 5. So if we run equals 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 with the, the values at index 0, this will cause an error and it will fail. So we know that these two objects are not considered deeply equal. So to make this test pass, um, if we if we know that they're not deeply equal, we can give it to the not deep equal method, and if we run that, then this test should pass. So I've just saved that now, and I'm going to go ahead and try submitting it and see what happens. And yeah, that's that was correct. So yeah, that's all we needed to do there.